Hey guys, welcome to Toronto. In case you guys haven't been keeping an eye on my Instagram or my Twitter or my blog or my vlog channel, um, I'm in Toronto right now because I have been making my own MAC lipstick, OMG. This is a whole separate other announcement that I've already done, but I'm launching a lipstick with MAC in April. Can't even believe it. I've been in Toronto formulating the colour. It's all a big secret until March, but it's beyond exciting. So um, if you want to know more about that, head over to my blog or my Instagram, there's more info there. But whilst I was in Toronto, I thought, why not do a real time haul? I've never been to Canada before. Um, so I thought I would take you guys into a Canadian drugstore, seeing as I'm doing drugstore month this month, um, and see what I can find. If there are any other brands that I can't get, here, um, or I can't get at home that are sold here, and yeah, I'm gonna tweet now and see if any of you guys have recommended anything good as well, um, and yeah, whole new experience for me. Welcome to Canada, let's experience it together. I'm sending this tweet out right now, let's see what everyone says. Done. What beauty products do I need to check out whilst I'm here? So this is today's outfit, guys. I'm wrapping up seriously warm today. I have on my giant Zara, black and white scarf, my huge Topshop flying jacket, my Balenciaga bag, Stradivarius jeans and a black jumper underneath as well and then my Ugg snuggly like combat boots. Practical and comfortable. <laughs> so we're heading to Shoppers Drug Mart. I've had so many recommendations for you from you guys. Like I think the most popular is Lee Swatier. Annabelle, there's a few others. I'm gonna try and see if I can find them. I have never even heard of a lot. I've heard of them, but I've never tried any of the stuff, so let's see. Okay, so this is what everybody's talking about. The gel lip liner, apparently. Apparently this is the number one coal eyeliner in Canada. Maybe we should try that. So these were recommended by so many of you guys, the Annabelle Big Show Gel Lip Liners. So I'm getting two colors of these, I think. There's actually quite a lot of colors, but I don't really wear red that often, so I think I'm gonna get the nudes. So this is another brand you guys have been suggesting, Quo, by Orly. Never heard of it, but they have some really nice colours. I really like this one and this one, although this looks like it's been <laughs> used or just sitting here for a long time. So Marcel is another brand everyone's been recommending, but I literally have no idea what to try. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to take a bit of a guess. The blushes look nice over here. And maybe micellar water could be good. So these are what I've heard the most about, the Lee Swatier fondant lipsticks. Why are they so good? I don't know, but everybody is recommending them. There's a huge Club Monaco right around the corner from where we're staying and there's a massive sale on and it's an extra 30% off everything. This could be dangerous. I love this coat, guys. So nice. Also slightly obsessed with this jumper, but it's not in the sale and it's super expensive. Look how pretty it is. Made a little purchase from Club Monaco. Just a little one. J Crew time, guys. I think there's another sale on in here. I feel like it's the best time to come to Canada. There's sales everywhere. So I'm in Kit and Ace right now, which is a Canadian store, I think. It's related to Lululemon. It's actually really cool, like lots of basic kind of leisure wear. It's not quite sportswear, it's just chilled out wear. So I'm looking rather disheveled right now because I just tried on a load of jumpers in Aritzia, but so many of you guys were tweeting me about roots that we had to come in and get sweatpants. It's so Canadian right now. Everything says Canada and roots on it, but I may have bought some sweatpants. Okay, so I'm actually filming this section of the video the next day because by the time we got back last night, it was dark 
and the lighting in this hotel room is not great anyway. I'm using natural light, um, so I had to film in the light, otherwise you literally would not be able to see me. So um, yeah, it's the next day and I'm gonna talk you through a couple of things that I got, or everything that I got. I actually am gonna combine all of this into um, one video and have like the clothes as well as the drugstore makeup. Initially I thought it was just gonna be um, a drugstore haul or a beauty haul, but that ended up being so many awesome recommendations from you guys of other things to pick up from Canada that I feel like I'm just gonna put them all together and have this as one big happy Canadian haul. As you guys know, it's my first time here, so I was really excited to like track down some things that um, I've never seen before. There's so much crossover between the States and Canada. I felt like there wasn't gonna be like a lot of things that I couldn't get there, but I actually ended up finding quite a lot of brands that I'd never heard of or never tried or I'd heard a little bit about, um, but because I've never been to Canada, I've never got the chance to try. Um, the first place I went was Shoppers Drug Mart, which um, again, with the lighting situation here, this, like anything white in this video is gonna look insanely bright. I'm sorry about that. Like the lighting is not ideal, but we'll get through it guys. We'll get through it. Hotel lighting. So Shoppers Drug Mart, I thought this was gonna be like, really low end based on like the look of the store and the name I was like it's gonna be like super drug kind of thing actually they sell like everything it's like our equivalent of like high-end boots where they sell like all of the designer brands and the drugstore ones too so I got quite a few things in here the first thing's really boring but I'm gonna get it out of the way because it's like bulky and taking up all the bag these are the Shiseido facial cotton pads and these were actually recommended to me by my friend Lucy who's with me because they're apparently amazing and Lisa Eldridge uses them um, and they're really hard to find. So I spent $11, which is actually quite a lot. You do get a lot in here though, but she said they're super, super amazing. So I'm excited to try those. Anyway, and getting on to the makeup stuff. First thing I picked up, quite a few pieces from, um, actually three things, from Lee Swatier. And I'd heard about this brand before on YouTube, like back in the day, from a few people I used to watch. And I never really like kind of thought about getting it because I didn't have access to it, but so many of you recommended their fondant supreme lipsticks. So I picked up one shade in the fondant supreme lipsticks, and this is in the shade Rochelle, which is a beautiful color. And the texture of these seem amazing. Like this is a really beautiful kind of like deep nude. So it's like a real deep kind of rosy nude. The texture is really, really balmy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the colour of that. Very, very me, very, like, it's a, it's more of a darker colour than I would wear, like, day to day, but still so, so nice. And the texture of them is just super, super lovely. I actually spent ages trying to decide which shade I was going to get, because I only wanted to get one, because they're quite expensive. I think they're about $24 or $28. One of them was $24, one of them was $28 out of the lip products I got, and I can't remember which way was which. Um, so I only wanted to get one, and it took me ages to decide. But then I also spotted these which weren't recommended, but Lee Swatier as a brand was recommended. This is the Basa Satin, um, Satin Finish Intense Color Liquid Lipstick. And I got the color Fancy Kiss. The names of these were horrendous. The one that I wanted was Fashion Kiss, but they were out of Fashion Kiss, which I'm kind of like, yeah, I wanted the color, but the name is like, it's just so terrible. But this is a really gorgeous kind of bright, um, it's like a deep bright pink. It's more of a statement color as opposed to like an everyday color, but I absolutely love it. And the finish of these is really beautiful. As the name would suggest, it's kind of like a satin. It's not quite matte, it's not like super glossy, but at the same time, it's like not that dry kind of matte texture. So I got one of those, which I'm excited to try. And then the last thing I picked up from Lee Swatier was this, which is the Spa Fondant Vitamin E Moisturizing Lip Thera Therapy with Maxi Lip. And I was drawn in by this purely because of the packaging, to be honest, because it's in this like clear plastic tube. And then they actually, they did have a tester. When you take it out, it's like, almost like a concealer packaging with the click up um, pen system and the brush. I just thought this sounded really nice. And also because it's in the same family as the fondant lipsticks, I thought maybe this is gonna be really good and really nice and moisturizing. They did have a lip scrub version, which I was also tempted to get as well, but because it was kind of a pricey brand, I thought I would just stick to this one. Um, so they're the three lip products that I got from Lee Swatier. And then I also got recommended a few different other brands. One of them was Quo. Um, which they like make everything. Um, they had like nail varnishes, they had makeup, they had tools. Um, so I didn't really know like what to look for because um, I didn't really get recommended anything specific from that brand. But I ended up picking up one thing which is the Velvet Kiss lipstick. And I have to say these for the price seem really, really impressive, both in terms of the packaging. So the packaging is like really high end. It's, it's quite bulky, but it's like in this square plastic, you click it and it clicks open. Kind of reminds me of the Chanel click open packaging. 
Um, and then the actual lip products, you don't seem to get, like the bullet seems smaller than normal, but the texture of these is gorgeous. They're like super, super balmy. And this color I just think is really nice. It's actually quite similar to the other Lee Squatier color that I got, but it's more of like a nude like a mid-tone nude, really nice. And the texture is just gorgeous. So I'm excited to try that. And I think it was $12, which is, around the eight pound mark, so a lot more affordable than the Lee Swatier products. And that's the only thing I got from Quo. I also picked up one thing from Marcel, which was another Canadian um, brand that got recommended on Twitter a lot. And it's so hard to like pick, because I didn't want to get like a lot of things, because I ended up spending a lot of money anyway. So I didn't want to be like, I'm gonna try everything and spend like thousands of dollars. So I sat there for ages, like looking at all the colors. And this was the one that shouted to me the most. So this is their um, powder blush in, Blossom, and I think it looks really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me um, of the Givenchy um, powders, how they do them with the like slightly like multifaceted squares. Comes with a little brush underneath. I think this was around twelve dollars or something like that. Like Marcel definitely wasn't like a cheap brand like Quo. It seemed to be a lot more expensive because I wanted to try their micellar water as well. But then that was twenty dollars, and I was thinking. The Garnier one is like £4 and I love it, so um, I didn't go for that, but I got this blush and I love this colour, it's just a really beautiful kind of rose, exactly my kind of colour, and it has a slight shimmer to it as well, so I'm excited to try that. A couple of other things that I picked up were from Annabelle, and I think Annabelle was probably the most recommended brand out of all of the brands to um, check out when I was here, and the gel liners were recommended a lot by like a lot of subscribers, but also by Estee, um, who's another YouTuber, and a lot of people, a, a lot of you guys said Tati likes these as well, so I was like, I'm gonna try these, and I got two colours, I got Meet Rosy, which is like the rose kind of nude colour, which will go actually really nicely with um, this Lee Swatier lipstick, I think, and then I also got the nuder one, which is called Nude Attitude, and I haven't actually tried these because they didn't have testers in the shop, so I'm gonna try them now, if I can get in. Oh, these seem super, super nice. They're very, like, a similar kind of texture and consistency to the, like, gel pencil eyeliners. But I don't think I've ever used a lip liner of this consistency. I know Urban Decay have them, um, but they look really nice. They're super pigmented as well. So I'm really excited to try those. And I think this colour, the Meat Rosy one, will be really good with a lot of my lipsticks. So I've got two of those. And then I also got two other things. I thought I got one, but actually I got two eyeliners. I got the um, Annabelle Chrome Coal Goldy Brown Eyeliner, which is really beautiful. It's like a metallic kind of bronze color. So, so nice. And just really kind of like one of those colors that looks really mesmerizing on the eyes. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of that. And then I also picked up the Regular Coal in Taupe, which is a matte taupe eyeliner. And I just think it looks so nice. Actually, I don't know if it has a slight shimmer to it, actually. Really, really nice, kind of like cool toned, like mushroomy, taupey colour eyeliner. Really, really excited to try that. That's everything I got from Annabelle. And then the other stuff that I picked up was from brands that I knew already, but that I hadn't seen these products in the UK. So these are probably out in the States already as well, but we don't have them in the UK yet. The first one is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. And I went for the classic ivory colour. Um, which is 20. I'm hoping this is gonna be good because I love the L'Oreal um, cushion foundation a lot. So I'm hoping this is gonna be good and I will like it as much. But they didn't actually have testers of these. So I'm hoping that two is the right color, but pretty much identical packaging to the, um, the L'Oreal one as well. This looks like a good color actually. Oh my god, yes, perfect colour. This seems really nice. I might even like this more than the L'Oreal one, but then saying that, it could be exactly the same and I could be talking rubbish. Super excited for that. I'm glad I got that as well because I almost didn't pick it up because it was like $18, which I thought seemed like a lot, but then the Canadian exchange rate is pretty strong right now. I think it's like 1.6 Canadian dollars to the pound, so I feel like it'll be about £10 when it comes out in the UK, so it's probably like a similar kind of price, maybe a little bit more expensive. And then I also picked up the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for dry skin because these are meant to be really nice, and we obviously don't have CoverGirl. We have Max Factor, and they bring out a lot of the same products, but I don't think we have the equivalent of these yet. Trying this on my hand, this actually feels super, super nice. Like, really balmy and moisturizing, so I'm excited to try that, and I love the packaging, it looks really high-end. And then I also picked up some Sesh Vite products. I got the Sesh Base. I'm sure you probably can get this in the UK, but I've never seen it before. 
and I love the sash feet top coat so I picked up the sash base and then I also picked up a new sash feet top coat because I'm nearly out of mine and then the last thing I got from Shoppers Drug Mart were this is so bizarre and boring a cotton um, swabs but I got these because they were in the like travel section and so it's like a travel size pack with just 50 I travel all the time and these are actually really hard to find like mini packs like I never really see them in England so I picked this up as like a dollar or something so um, yeah just really good for traveling and then I also popped to Sephora and I only really bought one thing in Sephora because I feel like there was nothing that I really needed Sephora in the Canada seems like almost identical to Sephora in the States but I did spot this brand um, Laneige which I've never actually heard anything about before. I've never heard anyone talk about it, really, I don't think, um, as far as I remember. And I never like noticed seeing it before, so I'm not sure if they do have it in Sephora in the States or if they just have it in bigger Sephoras. But what I really, like, really drew me in about this was that they have this overnight mask that has like individual capsules and you guys won't be able to see because the lighting is crazy but I'm going to do a close-up to show you. But this is the Bright Renew Capsule Sleeping Mask and they have these individual um, sachets which have like a bit of cream suspended in gel and I've actually used one of these already and I gave one to a couple of the other girls who were out here with me to try on the plane home so like I don't even have a full pack yet but you get 16 of these in one pack which seems quite good I think these were $36 so what is that like £22 or something so for, for a Sephora brand I thought it was pretty good and I, again I travel a lot so I thought these would be quite good and what I like about sleeping masks when I travel is that I use them on planes and I have to say I used one of these last night because my skin is just feeling so dehydrated and disgusting from the traveling um, and I actually really really liked it my skin definitely felt different this morning and yeah I'm excited to try that I might actually I'm quite tempted to pick up um, they had like a sample section like a, not a, sam a sample selection of this brand with like the cleanser and the moisturizer and stuff in it as well so I'm quite tempted to pick that up before I leave if I get the time today so um, I picked that up and then I also had loads of points on my Beauty Insider card and I picked up um, two of the 100 point rewards and the first one I got was the Sunday Riley Tidal moisturizer because I've wanted to try this for a while ever since it came out but it's expensive and I've kind of been thinking like I'm not sure because the texture is very like it's like a gel and I just don't know if it will be rich enough for my skin so I was really happy that that was in the like freebie kind of thing and I had loads, I had like a thousand points that I've been saving up so I got that and then I also got a mini of the Fresh Vitamin Nectar mask I love fresh face masks and I've never tried the Vitamin Nectar one so I thought this sounded really really nice and especially good for travelling as well because it's a mini it also, I don't even, can't even open this it smells like really really fruity and nice it smells like a fruit smoothie so I'm excited to try that as well haven't really heard anything about it so I'll let you guys know if that is amazing or not so that is everything on the beauty front after that I also popped to roots because so many of you guys recommended checking out their sweatpants that I thought I can't leave Canada without going here because it is like a properly like Canadian brand it, like most of their clothes say Canada on the front so I went and I picked up some of their classic sweatpants. These are the original ones in the original fit, so they're like the baggy ones. Um, I was a little bit skeptical if I'm honest because I went in and I saw them and I was like, these just look like regular sweatpants. They don't look that amazing. But so many of people had said that I had to get them. So I was like, right, I'm gonna get them and see what all the hype is about. And I tried them on last night and I could not take them off. So genuinely, like, I wore these all of last night. They are just so comfortable. I'm going to be wearing them on like every plane journey ever in the future around the house. They are so, so cozy. So thank you to everybody who recommended me these, especially to Rima, who um, is a friend of mine that has recommended a lot of Canadian things. Thanks, Rima. They are amazing. And the poutine that you recommended us to try was also amazing. Um, so yeah, getting fully Canadian in my root sweatpants. Loving those. I think they translated to be about £50. Quite a lot for sweatpants, but worth it because I'm definitely going to wear them a lot. And then I also popped into Aritzia. I've been to Aritzia in the States, and I have to say, like, I really, I do really like their stuff, but I think oh, it threw me the first few times I went in there because I think it's almost merchandise, like a cheap shop. Like, you go in and I thought it would be, like, H&M prices, but it's actually a really premium shop, and I think they've got something a bit wrong there. Like, like it doesn't feel premium when you shop there, but the clothes are actually really nice, so you have to, like hunt the good stuff out if that makes sense and then it's kind of worth the money but they have like an outer layer of like 
high streetness. But it is Canadian, so I felt like I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my Canada on and I'm gonna look at all the stuff and see if I can find anything. And they had an amazing sale on actually. So the first thing I picked up was this scarf, which I really like because it has black, grey and brown in it. So I feel like you could wear this with pretty much any colour. It's kind of like a shrunken wool material. It was reduced to $45, so it was about £30, just under £30. And I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. It's like really cosy, I really like the colours. It's like a subtle kind of, um, almost like a soft focus stripe, because like the colours are kind of blended together. And then the other thing I picked up from there was this gorgeous cardigan. And this is from the brand Wilfred. And it's like a long line cardigan. It's like an oatmeal colour, although it's showing up crazy white on screen because of the crazy lighting but it's got these big deep pockets I don't know if I'll be able to fit it on over this huge jumper that I have on but I'm gonna try yeah it's kind of like a slouchy fit although this will probably be tight with my huge jumper um long line cardigan again like <laughs> I'm like ready for winter ready for the Canadian weather but what I really like about it is that it has slits up the side as well so I really like that that was quite expensive actually, I think it was about 150 Canadian dollars, so um, what does that work out as, about like 90 pounds? So quite expensive, but it's really, really lovely quality, and it's actually like a very heavy knit, it's like a full on coatigan, I would call it. So I picked that up from Aritzia, and then last but not least, I also picked up a shirt from Club Monaco. There's a huge Club Monaco around the corner from the hotel we're staying in, I'm staying at the Park Hyatt, which is, um, fairly central I think. But anyway, it's like the main like fancy shopping street is right there and they have a huge Club Monaco, like giant, and they had a massive, massive sale on. So I went in and I tried on quite a lot of stuff but I ended up only um, coming away with one thing, which was this shirt, which is a really pretty, um, I feel like it's like a linen-y mix shirt. It was reduced from $179 to 139 then had an additional 30% off. So. I feel like it ended up being about 100 Canadian dollars, which is about 60 pounds. It's a really pretty, kind of loose fitting linen -y shirt, and then it has the ruffles that go all the way along the back of the sleeves, and then onto the shoulders, which I thought was just really pretty, thought it'd be really nice. I love this colour as well, it's like, kind of like a cornflower blue, and the buttons are covered in the material as well, which I thought was a really nice detail. So that's the last thing that I picked up from Club Monaco, um, although I was tempted to buy a lot of stuff in there, like coats and everything. Um, it was still pretty expensive, like even though the sale was on. Yeah, so that's everything I picked up in Canada. I'm heading home today. I'm really sad to be leaving. I wish I could see more of Canada um, and not just Toronto. I really want to go and see Vancouver and Montreal. Since I've said I've been in Canada, I've had so many recommendations from you guys of like places to go, people like things to see, things to eat, things to do. Um, so a massive thank you to all of you for that because it's been awesome. I feel like Canadian people are so freaking friendly. Everyone I've met here has been so nice as well. So I've had a really lovely trip. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this haul video. I am doing a whole kind of drugstore month series this month, so if you haven't already seen a lot of my drugstore content, I'm going to be putting up lots of drugstore content throughout the month of January, so if you want to come back and see that, that would be awesome. Um, and I'll see you guys again very soon.